Welcome back. In October 2019, I boarded Blue Air Flight 0B142 from Glasgow to Bucharest. This was the first step on my journey to make this video about Romania's completely fictitious history. This is a fake history of Bucharest. I thought a good way to start this video would be to show you the plane taxiing and taking off from Glasgow Airport. If you've never seen a video of a plane taking off before, you must be new to this channel, so I want to extend a warm welcome to you and remind you to hit the subscribe button below if you like what you see. After a rather boring 3.5 hours sitting on the plane taking selfie videos, we finally landed and I was greeted at arrivals by my tour guide for this trip, who also happens to be my girlfriend. After meeting our driver and heading to the car, Daniela decided to start off our journey on a light note and explained that bath bombs are really popular in Bucharest. They're seen as a symbol of good luck here and people are recommended to use one every day. What you're seeing now is a demonstration of how to use a bath bomb in your bath at home. Naturally, I had to wonder where all this colourful water went after it was used by the local people, and sure enough, Daniela took me to see the spectacular answer to that very question. These are the water fountains in Inuri Square in downtown Bucharest. They only reopened in May 4th last year after an important revamping process to handle all the bath bomb water. This amazing recycling project is a spectacular multimedia show of water, music and light and is sure to attract thousands of tourists from across the globe annually. On day 2, we set out with plans to cover a large area of ground and that means finding a quick and convenient mode of transport. Shortly after leaving our hotel, we kept seeing these electric scooters stacked up all over the city so decided to download the app and try them out. Surprisingly, these are very easy to ride, have a top speed of 25 km per hour, and you only pay for the minutes you use. Another benefit is that you can leave them wherever you want when you arrive at your destination. First up, we went to see the Romanian Revolution Memorial, which has become fondly known by the locals as the potato on a stick. Rather than a standout symbol of revolution, it has caused many locals to revolt against its existence and is frequently used as a skate park, which has caused it to fall into disrepair. In recent years, some politicians have been calling for it to be demolished and replaced with a Starbucks. Also in Revolution Square, we passed this statue of a guy on a horse. The story goes that inside this bronze statue is the body of Carl I, the first king of Romania. The only thing we know for sure from the direction the statue is facing is that even he and his horse don't want to look at the potato on a stick monument. This spectacular Romanian Anthenium was opened in 1888 after 28 years of public fundraising and construction. To mark the occasion, Buddy Holly christened the theatre by performing a three hour show to a sell out crowd. The Palace of Parliament is a huge building with nearly 4 million square feet of floor space. We calculated it would take nearly a full battery of one of the electric scooters to travel around it about 500 times. So instead of trying to do that, we decided to move on to the next location. This is a hidden street with a roof made out of umbrellas. These umbrellas were mounted onto telephone wires in the street as part of a recycling project for old umbrellas. Unfortunately, the concept never really took off, however, these umbrellas remain as an art statement and you too can go and visit them during your time in Bucharest. Hmm. I guess hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. On our way home and starving from our second day of touring historic Bucharest, we went on the hunt for dinner. And while heading back to the hotel, we took in some of the guiding lights of the city at night. On the morning of day three, we got back on the scooters and went to see the Arc de Triomphe? Wait, I thought I was in Romania, not France. Apparently this is the third edition of the Romanian Victory Arch, after the other two kept breaking from so many victorious soldiers marching under it on their return home from various wars. They decided to construct this one with similar materials to the French Arc de Triomphe because, you know, the French one hasn't fallen down over the years from all of their victorious soldiers marching under it. The Bucharest History Museum is the location of the ongoing reconstruction project for Trajan's Column. 
It is believed that if they can rebuild the tower in the exact form it once stood, that it will grant the strength of the heroic Dacian fighters to whomever may enter its core and unlock the passageway to the Temple of Doom. The museum is filled with frescoes and statues depicting ancient battles between the Dacians and the Romans, which are quite the sight to behold. On a lighter note, we need to talk about cats. No, not that terrible film that came out recently. In Bucharest, cats are everywhere and they demand attention. Some will even steal your food. If you're lucky, you'll just find some cute kittens who want to claw your hands off while you rub their bellies. Finally, before we left Bucharest, we went to the Bucharest Village Museum. The Village Museum currently displays 346 houses and more than 53,000 objects, unique peasant homes and technical installations, all moved from their original location and rebuilt according to the original techniques, including water mills, oil presses, fountains, roadside crucifixes and churches. In my opinion, it's actually a museum worth going to, and for me, that says a lot. Sadly, with that, our journey must come to an end. I'll finish this up with some awesome scenic views we captured during our tour of Bucharest, but really, there's nothing specific to say about these. The history isn't interesting and I can't be bothered to make up any more lies. So with that said, thanks for watching, remember to comment and subscribe down below, and have a great day.